Senator Jeremy Corbyn continues to fight allegations of anti-Semitism even after he attended an hours-long alternative Passover Seder. British journalists recently uncovered that Corbyn belonged to at least five Facebook groups that hurled hundreds of violent and abusive messages against British Jews. Corbyn has had long, close associations, even personal friendships with known Jew Not haters disgusting. and Holocaust deniers. But Corbyn himself denies he's anti-Semitic in any way. Right before the Passover holiday, in fact, he sent out this message to the British Jews. We in the Labour movement will never be complacent about anti-Semitism. We all need to do better. I'm committed to ensuring the Labour Party is a welcoming and secure place for Jewish people. All right, those were Corbyn's words to the Jewish people, but what was his prayer? To answer that question, let's turn to our investigative correspondent, Elon Levy, joining us in the studio. What kind of Passover Seder event did Jeremy Corbyn, the leader of this major political party, wants to be prime minister? Where did he go? Jeff, this was an alternative Seder. I imagine quite unlike anything you or I have ever attended. Organized by far-left, anti-capitalist, anti-nationalist, uh, self-styled far-left Jewish group, Judas. Uh, and it was an all, very much an alternative Seder. It took place in a church. They didn't use a shank bone. They used a beetroot and encouraged everyone to point at the beetroot and shout F capitalism. Uh Look, uh, they used a text that was unconventional. From recent years, the Haggadah, the service they used, included a prayer against the state of Israel. Now, that wasn't used this year in the document that was released for reasons we still don't understand. Uh, but in previous years, they have used a service that included a prayer against the state of Israel, uh, asking God to smash the state of Israel, and concluding with the words, F the Queen, and especially F Prince Philip, burn down Parliament, full communism. Amen. So that specific prayer may not have been said this year with Corbyn in attendance, year, apparently. but the fact that he was there, I mean, how much of an eyebrow-raising event is, is it for Jeremy Corbyn to be with this group? As radical as they are, are they illegitimate? Are they, I mean, are they anti-Semitic? Or is it really just they're controversial? No, look, this is, this is after all a group of Jewish youths, and we should always be very, uh, very skeptical and cautious about causing, uh, calling Jews uh, anti-Semites. Uh, but it's certainly a kick in the teeth for the mainstream Jewish community, because the mainstream Jewish community came out last week accusing Jeremy Corbyn of affiliation with anti-Semites, saying enough is enough. He took this one step towards the Jewish community to then appear with what is a very fringe group that has often been at odds, specifically has said that all of the anti-Semitism allegations were being used against Jeremy Corbyn in order to topple the possibility of a socialist government rather than out of any uh, goodwill or good faith is a, a kick in the teeth and is going to injure attempts to rebuild trust between the Labour Party and the mainstream Jewish community.